Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have a couple of small project shares. I created one of those handmade um, boxes. I believe it's an A4 size. It measures four and a half by about five and three quarters. And I got the tutorial from, I believe it's Baby Tweetums here on YouTube. Um, if I could find it again, I'll put a link below. But at any rate, I created my box and then I um, altered it or decorated it using the Vintage Amour paper by the Paper Studio. I used a, um, an image that I had downloaded from the internet last year and all the images come with this, um, you know, the website down here so um, I had to work around that but the, I had a whole sheet of them, they're really sweet. And I used my six by six stencil. This is called um, mini tile texture. And I used this along with the white texture effect by Martha Stewart. And this is a lot like, I guess it's comparable to snow text, but it feels a lot like the texture that I make myself with the acrylic paint and and sand but it's just a little bit finer anyway I really like it I really love this stuff so I'm glad I picked it up so this is the box and I'll show you all there's the the lid but I'll show you all the sides I created the box with craft paper And I dangled some, you know, little pearls. I believe those are the Tim Holtz vintage findings. And I uh, put one on every side. So the after I created my box, I went over the box with a, a quick, like a whitewash of gesso. And that, because I wanted more of a white to show. But then for the lid, I took some vintage music sheet paper and then layered it with this sheet from the Vintage Amour stack. Really pretty. It's a beautiful, shabby vintage um, paper collection. And then the frame here is from the Tim Holtz. I, I'm not sure the name of it, but it's a Tim Holtz Sizzix die. And I used my DCWB um, glitter a stack and it's a silver glittered um, frame if you can tell that and then I took my texture medium and created the texture if you could see there and on the inside of the frame I fussy cut the lady the the picture of the lady and then of course I had to use my new wing punch that I found at Hobby Lobby so I cut the wings out of a gold foiled paper and then I put them on pop dots behind her so that, you know, they, to add more dimension. And I added some um, stickles on them as well. So I think it, I thought it came out really cool, really cute. And then um, I rolled up this corner when I adhered the paper, I had rolled up this corner so it reveals a little bit of cheesecloth and I added some of the texture medium there. I distressed everything with vintage photo and also the barn red distressing and I lifted the corner up here a little bit just to give it a little more of a vintage feel. And then all of my flowers are from I Am Roses. Um, this is a, one of the smaller gardenias, the pink one here. And I went over them with gesso and some stickles, um, the Viva stickles. It's not actually stickles, it's, but anyway, same basic glitter glue type thing. And I also went over a little bit with some of that texture medium from Martha Stewart. I added these little flowers here that I had in my stash. And over here is a small little fairy charm, which I thought was really sweet. I think this was in a doodad bag from Lydia. 
and um, a tiny key charm that I had in my stash. So I think it came out really cute. And this is another I Am Roses. And um, I did the same thing with the texture medium and the stickles type stuff. So I thought it came out really cute. And the um, little black hearts are from the $2 spot at Michael's. And then around the sides, I added this trim from um, Joann's. And I thought it was a good contrast for you know, the vintage feel of the paper for there to be the gold or the silver tinsel and the silver frame. I thought it, I thought it was a, a sweet um, contrast. So I layered my crocheted lace and then went over it with the tinsel trim. And then for the, for the bottom part of the box, I used these little this is from Butterbee Scraps, and these little pieces are, are small, small. I should have grabbed one to share with you, but, but they also bend real easily, so they work real well as photo corners or uh, box corners. So that's what I used on the corners of my box. I'll take the lid off. <clears throat> and they, I papered the inside of the lid with this sheet from the Vintage and More stack, really sweet. And then the inside looks like this. Um, again, the papers from the same paper stack. And there's some gesso spots in there to give it a, you know, um, distressed look about it. But see, there are the corners. So those are really fun and quite easy to work with. I mean, I just bent them a little bit and wrapped them around the corner. I used the mixed media glue from um, Hobby Lobby to adhere them. So that's my little box. I thought it came out sweet and I'll fill it with little goodies. And um, so that's, that's one little project. And then I created a card using um, this paper stack, it's by Teresa Collins. It's called Vintage Finds, and I love the colors in here, the golds and the yellows and the black and grays. Really sweet colors. I, I really like, love that. So um, this is the card that I created. And it's just on craft paper that I, you know, cut the size. And I layered a couple of sheets this is another Tim Holtz um, frame, and for this one I used the copper, I believe it's a copper color um, glitter paper from DCWV. I also cut one of the um, bingo cards from the collection and put on a pop dot in the center of the frame. It's not really a Valentine's card, it's just a, you know, friend's card. And these, these flowers are from the $2 bin at Michael's and they worked perfectly with this collection. And here's a resin flower from